Except for the big fire of 1889, nothing has changed Spokane more than Expo 74. The theme of the World's Fair that year was celebrating tomorrow's fresh new environment. But Spokane couldn't tell the world to clean up its act before doing some cleaning up of its own. The decade of the 70s is remembered mostly for three things. The end of the Vietnam War, the only resignation of a U.S. president, and really bad clothes. If you're from Spokane, you also remember the 70s for Expo 74. Northwest begins right here. Spokane, Washington, site of the World Environmental Fair. Celebrating the birth of tomorrow's fresh new environment. Expo 74 is the event few people believe will ever happen in a town few people know exists. To this day, many people wonder how we ever pulled it off, as Spokane remains the smallest city ever to host a World's Fair. Expo 74 is born of an idea to change the worst part of Spokane into the best part of Spokane. For the better part of a century, Everything and everyone that comes to or leaves this hub of the Inland Empire does so by train. Union Pacific and Great Northern Railroad tracks crisscross the heart of the city, meeting in a huge industrial eyesore right downtown. A handful of visionaries sees beyond the concrete and steel to a beautiful centerpiece for the Lilac City. But first, they have to get rid of the concrete and steel. I remember the old Union Station. Boy, that was that was gorgeous. It reminded me of big city stuff. You went in the ground floor, and then you went up to the second floor, which was uh, uh, the waiting room, more or less, hall marble floor or terrazzo, I'm not sure which. Then you went out and through a tunnel and up to the tracks where the trains were. They, they were up on that elevated thing and uh, it was it was to me big time <laughs> the union station falls to progress as do other structures on the expo site some like crystal laundry surrender a decades old claim to their site by the river for expo an effort to save our station saves only the clock tower of the Great Northern Depot, which now chimes across Riverfront Park. To me, it was like opening up a new world, you know. I mean, you could go down there and it was so um, peaceful and you could walk around and you could see everything, see things that you hadn't seen before. Expo was wonderful. I'm so glad they left the park down there. I'm very glad they left the park down there because it's still nice to go down there and walk around. Thank you. 